it. So that at the end of it all, we are having this cause to say, God, we thank you. For in Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. Amen. Thank you very much for that opening prayer from the principal of Yondo, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, without wasting our time this evening. We'd like to go straight to the 13 on the agenda, which is the first hymn for the evening, as the Lakers band will be coordinating us as we sing the first hymn here, which is Abide With Me Fast for the Evil Tide. Please, can we all rise up as we take the hymn? Thank you. Bless, heals, 
Supreme Commander, Fala six to connect. For those who love here, I will that give by Adebayo Sheriff Eugeson. That is to say, ABC Undo Alpha for those can do IDS. For those who are believing in Shannon Perry, but enjoy that everlasting carability. See, only one in the Kure Aye at the Awanti Ote do see in Ure. Now, I want to verbalize. Still much at it within the school perimeter circumference. But that should probably be stood and submitted on one list. Well, what's the work as issue of services, edasis, and all other services in Supremo's commander? Or your blue to basket or just the issue to Arizona at the Colorado. So that they can fit with that just get or do be that type of side in Perek and Christian Majesty or by him or Ladele Ebenezer aka she fed you in your vision aka. Et à nous, on for those that can do it. The only service on that will get for that. She fed you three one. Ashe Malu one of all the grass. That will say, Do any you see anywhere that come out of our court in Bob Balasse? In other situations, you do anything quality, that's bad to bless. Bad to get. Bad to get. Bad to get. Bad to get. Bad to do anything quality, that's bad. I do get bad. Open this child by doing this on grass.
Agidi Malaja Agidi Malaja Oya wole ife o Awita woni bawo Awita woni bawo Awo ate o Kawo mama ta ye ye Kawo mama ya
give you more mercy. Baba, what we need, Baba, give me more mercy. Oh yeah, Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, please can we give them a round of applause for that tribute from the Kegite Club International. And may I inform you that the late Prince Adiboro Kiladejo was a chief of the Kegite Club International. Once again, may so rest in perfect peace. And now we'd like to move on with the program as we have the exit of the Kegite Club International right now this evening without much ado. We'd like to go straight to the second hymn as we all stand up to take Jerusalem and High, my song and city from the library. After that, we'll take the St. Joseph College anthem, please, after the hymn. Please, St. Joseph will take you after the hymn. Thank you. Jerusalem on high, my song and city is my home whenever I die, the center of my bliss. Oh, happy place, where shall I be, my God, with thee? to see thy face there dwells my lord my king george air on feet to live their angels to him sing and lowly homage give O oh, happy place, when shall I be, my God, with thee, to see thy peace? The patriarchs of old, there from their travel seas, the prophets there beyond, their long for prince of peace. O oh, happy place, when shall I be, my God, with thee to see thy peace? The Lamb's apostles there, I might with joy be old. The harpers I might hear, 
harping on halves of gold. Oh, happy place, when shall I be, my God, with thee to see thy face? The bleeding martyr's day within the court are found, clothed in pure array, their scars with glory crown. O oh, happy place, when shall I be, my God, with thee to see thy feet? Ah me, ah me, that I in Kether's tainted sea, no place like that on I, Lord, thy to guide my way. O oh, happy place, when shall I be, my God, with thee? To see the Amen. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, this evening we stay high and having the night of tribute for Prince Adeboro Kila Dejo. Please, I'd like to crave our indulgence once again. Please, can we just move our seat forward so that we can see the stage properly? Thank you very much as we comply. All right now from his former secondary school it is my pleasure this evening for the attributes as i invite here on stage the students of the saint joseph college Undo, as they come pay tribute to a former student of this great citadel of learning ladies and gentlemen please put your hands together for the students of saint joseph college Undo, as they come forward for the school anthem thank you very much
Jason, Saint Joseph, Saint Joseph, Yahweh, life in dark, when ways of sin and sorrow rise, dark hour of praise and shame, Save to the public of the sky. to Bless our principal and our Guide them in one and and guide resources. Saint Joseph, we are well and is up when waves of sin and sorrow rise, sun will rise, dark our praise and tremble not, save to the public of the sky. S.J.C. No pillars. Thank you very much. And that was from the, the students of St. Joseph College on the paying tribute to our prince, the prince of the Borough Kila Dejod. And it's still the evening of celebrating our own. We are not here to mourn here this lovely evening. But we are here to celebrate his life, his essence. And on these notes, we would like to go to the next, the first tribute for the evening. As we come to pay tribute to our own person. Someone who has impacted one way or the other into our lives. His talks, his memories, things we've shared with him. Please, if you're coming on this podium to share something about the late Prince Adeboro Kiladejo. We all know we have things to say about him. I can speak on and on about him. His memories, his quotes, his words of wisdom, how supportive he is. But because of our time, we just have to make it snappy. Just two minutes to each person coming up to say something. And this evening we start with the tribute from the family. As we have representatives from the, the family of late prince at the borough Kiladejo, the family for the first tribute thank you very much can we have a family member to come say something about our late prince at the borough Kiladejo from the family We have someone coming from the family. Please, your name and the tribute. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Everyone here. My name is Akin Shola Temitope Maxwell. Pondit Great Essential. I happen to be one of with Uncle Boros, <laughs> numerous uh, nephews. He was a good man. <laughs> it's so hard to believe Uncle Boro is no more, as in I can't still believe it. He had a caring heart, very lovable man, numerous as well. When, when it's time to work, he's high, he used to be highly efficient. And he, 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 he doesn't joke with things that are not supposed to be joked with. And when he sees you that you are feeling somehow, he happens to be one of those that we quickly notice that. He will ask you, is everything going on right with you? He will know. And he's always very willing to help. Truth be told, time will not permit me to download all my epistles here. But then, 
I would have been one of the many people Uncle Bora would have helped. The Uncle Bora would have taken out of this country. Twenty something years ago, I was in primary six at Bishop Leeds Memorial Primary School around Asuriliri. He came from abroad. He talked to my dad and said, Egikile, go to FM Tokwelo. Dad laughed. He said, no way. What was, my, what was my offense then? I used to play ball. Dad was like, but then uh, I felt so bad. I didn't play my dad as such because back then those who were playing ball supposed to be those who were not that serious then. Look at what football has turned to now. Look at what sport has turned to. Uncle Bora was very lovable, a, very, a friendly man, one of the best uncles, one of the best. And I'm sure he will be very happy looking back and seeing everybody here. Truly, he fought a good fight, and I can beat my chest, chest that he really won the race. May the God give the family, the Kiladijo family, home and abroad, the good fortitude to bear the, <laughs> permit me to say, irreplaceable loss. Thank you all. God bless you. Thank you very much. Please, I'll give him a round of applause for that tribute. Touching it is. Please, I'll have one more person from the family before we go to the next thing on the program. One more person from the family for the a tribute on behalf of the family of late prince at the Kiladejo. One more person from the family. Do you have someone? Okay, someone is coming. Thank you very much. And after that, we take the documentary. Before we have a special tribute from one of those finest son in music as it comes to pay tribute to our late prince. But before then, we'll take this tribute from a family member coming to say one or two things about our late prince. You're welcome, ma'am. Please can we give her a round of applause as she comes forward. You're welcome, ma'am. My brother used to be an independent person. He's so generous. He doesn't like hurting people. I remember from my childhood. There is no time my brother ever offended me. We have been like twins, brothers, twins, sisters, but it's just a pity that he let me so quick. Egiboro, uh, when you are alive, even if you don't eat, you want people around you to eat. You are so generous to the point. Most of the time, I always say, Egidebaro, ah, see a t-shirt here. But I thank God for his life. He has gone to rest. And do a party for him. Do a keep a meal. Do a key a meal. My job, my job, my job. Because I'm going to tell you, I'm going to go back to jail. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ma, for that tribute. Without wasting our time this evening, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Please, we have a missing car keys here. 
we have this bunch of keys here please if you are the owner please check your hands for your keys if you can't find them you can please contact me here for your keys thank you very much and now to you take this evening further i'd like to take this the third hymn for the evening before we go to the next thing on the program it is my pleasure this evening as we all stand up to the live band as we take the hymn hallelujah 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 thank you Hallelujah. 
band for that team please we may have a seat as we move on with this program and as we move on this evening distinguished ladies and gentlemen earlier on we said prince adiboro kiladijo was the man who loves entertainment he loves sports and um he supports as if i had to refer to him using the the uh, the worst i still feel i can uh, refer to him as he still with us but he's gone. He's a man who gave his best to us as entertainers in Undo State. And on this note, this evening, I have an entertainer, a son of the soil, who is doing well in music, coming to pay tribute to the memory of Prince Adeboro Kiladejo. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, let's make welcome the Afri Music winner for 2020, Dotium, as he comes on stage to pay his tribute to our own late prince at the borough killer did your please round of applause for Dotium as it comes forward please can we just give him a round of applause thank you thank you uh, good, good evening everyone i'm going to be singing the song i uh, sang at uh, prince birthday just a week before he left us he loved that song so much so i'm going to be doing that same song for him tonight <laughs> ACI activated. Need a day be measured. Ah, need a day be more for. Yeah, there is something I've come to know. Hey, hey, man, I want more man, don't go. Na, 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 in the day be me, you. Yeah, yeah, in the day be more fool. Yeah, there is something I've come to know. Hey, man, I want more man, don't go. Hey, yeah, oh, no, I'm a new. Oh, yeah, baby, me wuro, baby, me fill it 
dimbalo kili pingwele na lo migol I led an agogo ke onyo jega All right, we sincerely apologize for that breaking transmission. Still about the tribute for the evening. Please, once again, can we give a round of applause from one of those finest music acts here this evening? Musical act, we would like to say thank you very much once again to George Tim. Prince Adibor of Benedict Kiladido, or Nessa Ayoli, aka Prince of Hope, was born on the 15th of June 1959 in Ondo into the Okuta ruling house of Ondo Kingdom. His father was late Prince Adibor Adibor Kiladido, also known as Pa Ediloko, a retired superintendent nurse, and his mother was late Princess Beatrice Adiyosola Kiladido a trader in fabrics and gold ornaments. Both parents are of blessed memory, hardworking, godly, and straightforward. Prince Adeboro began his formal education at St. Andrew's Primary School in Dimogi, Ondo, and his secondary school at St. Joseph's College, Ondo. He later undertook courses in business administration and mining at the Federal Polytechnic, Kaduna and the Open Casting Mining at Technological School, Aochi. Having studied a while in Nigeria, Prince decided to travel to the United Kingdom for further studies in late 1986. In the UK, he took some courses and art trainings in areas of health and safety, stress management, etc. After his education, Prince Adibola decided to go into private partnership business with some of his friends and succeeded in establishing the following the African Home Movie Video Rentals, promotion of African music, musicians, actors, and actresses. Some of his close acquaintances were Alaji Kointi Ayala, Obesere, Tayo Kujero, Late Father Yuto, ETC, African Nigerian Restaurant in Acme. Having studied and worked tirelessly in the UK, believing in the Yoruba habit, which says, Imena boy Sibiopo, that is, after age young sojourn and sweater in the strange land, one deserves a good rest back home. Prince Adebola relocated back to Nigeria here in Ondo City, where he established his Equifali Research Center of Relaxation and Rich Reunion for all returnees. At the center, traditional delicacies such as Asso and drinks and all the choice drinks they serve. Traditional African music played solemnly at the tavern. I know Prince tried his hands in other businesses such as security outfits, rentals, events planning, etc. In all, he was a master. 
In his last days, Prince Adiboron met with Christ and spent his time propagating the gospel of Jesus Christ. A devoted family man, kind-hearted, ready to do away with all that he has to make others happy. A treaty he imbibed from his father, Pa Edinoko, a sheer giver. My late brother, Adibor of Benedict Kiladejo, was a generous man. He is priceless like a good. We are so close that he can never be replaced. I've accepted it as the will of God. My name is Dr. Nelson Nosubemiro. I'm an in law to Prince Deborah Kiladejo. I have known him for a very long time, even before I got married to his sister. But I became very close to him thereafter. He was a jolly good fellow. He was friendly. He was peaceful. He was calm. And he was accommodating and above all he was a very jovial man he has lived a fulfilled life he has played his role and his part and it has placed it it pleases god to take him at this present point in time adieu uncle deborah uh, Deborah was actually a friend indeed. We became so close about 16 years ago after he came back from the UK to settle in Ondo here to support the throne. Though we've known each other ways back at St. Joseph's College Ondo in the 70s. He saw in me someone who is so passionate and desirous in giving selfless service to the king and the kingdom. And we became glued together. And on my, on my own part as well, I saw in him a loyal and a committed character to the throne. Hence our bonding. Borrow was such a loving and accommodating friend. I missed him sorely and I have never been the same since his demise. I, may his gentle soul continue to rest in peace. Borrow. My name is Shivole Benson Akinkule, the Tagui of Undo Kingdom, a younger friend of late Prince Adebar of Benedict Kiladejo. My Prince of Hope is quite unfortunate and so sad that it's at this moment we will be elogizing you after your departure. You were a kind man to a fault, always being with smile. I remember the last birthday I had in uh, June, you were the one that took me by surprise by organizing a surprise birthday gift for me. I just came to the park that day to let you know that that was my birthday. All of a sudden I, I saw trumpeter, saw all of your staff singing and praising me. Prince, I want to rest in the bosom of the Lord. I take solace in the word of Caponia that says, when beggars die, there are no commercing. The heaven themselves blaze forth the death of princes. I'm sure yours is not an exemption. My name is Chief Akintola Ibekeli. Prince Kiladi Deboro was my very good friend while he was alive. Frankly speaking, he was a man of good heart and great love for Ondo and his people. He was a promoter of Undo tradition. Unfortunately, he died. Though the world is not our home, we are just passing through. Honestly, I miss him for his counseling, kind advice, and particularly 
his daily early morning prayer messages usually sent to me. May his soul rest in perfect peace. Soon real, Prince of Hope. My name is Holly Oshi, the publisher of City State Newspaper, and on the City Community Based Newspaper, and a friend of the city, uh, principal of the area. We were both admitted to St. Joseph College, although in 1973. But in those days, we were not really good friends. Because I noticed in him traits and character of a very stubborn boy. Because he was always constantly fighting with him. I never knew that he was fighting tyranny and oppression. He never could it, he couldn't just put his peace when he saw his class classmates and, uh, and colleagues being maltreated by those seniors. So it was serious problem with them. It was later later that I began to appreciate this place in him, that this is a friend of his friends. He was a very good friend. I cannot forget him forever because uh, for me, my name is Olani Kong Akifosawa, popularly known as DJ Reference. Prince Benedict Adibolo Kiyadijo was a great man in the kingdom. He's a man of integrity, a great setter, and a dream lifter. Talk of Mundo Town as a group. He was a great pillar behind all the youths in the kingdom. He came at the right time when he left to him. May your soul rest in peace. Um, uh, my name is Idris Mamukulami. I'm the uh, founder of Miss Ekimoku Beauty Pageant in Kondo Kingdom. Prince um, Adeboro Kiladi Job, a wonderful uncle. Um, brother, a father, a companion, and a great confidence. Um, what can I say about him? Yes, um, Prince Kiladi Joe was mm. the bridge that I think I see that should be the bridge between the youth and the old people. And our daddies and mommies in Ondo Kingdom. Prince Adiboro, aka Prince of Hope, was a lover of youth and man of the people, always surrounded by happy and hopeful youth all the time. Prince Adiboro got married to Fumila Yokiladijo, Ni Adikobi, his long-term lover, wife, and mother of his children. The marriage spanning more than 34 years by God's grace was blessed with wonderful children, male and female, who are excelling in their chosen fields of endeavors. Hi, my name is Adelin Sola Kledejo and I am the first daughter of Prince Adebora Benedict Kledejo. Um, my dad to me has always just been the life of the party. He was always the person that you'd go to when you wanted to turn up, when you wanted to have fun, you just had to find my dad. When I was younger, I used to always see him as like this really, 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 really strict person. But it wasn't until I was older that I kind of realized why he was the way he was, you know, when we were younger. Um, but as I've become older now, I've kind of just seen that he was just the life of the party he was just fun he just he always he loved to have people around him he enjoyed people's company he he loved 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 music i think one of my earliest not earliest my earliest memories of my dad have just always been like partying like when we, that i'd go with him to like all the shows that he used to do when I was younger and all the promotion shows that he'd do or I'd stay up with him all night printing flyers for shows and things like that. I think when I was about uh, 15, 16, um, my dad was taking me to an interview um, for college and that time 
African music, Nigerian music wasn't as popular as it is now or people didn't really listen to it mainstream as they do now and I remember my dad just blaring out this Owambe song like through the car park and the music was so loud and everyone was just staring into the car and I was so embarrassed and my dad was just there just chilling just enjoying himself like nothing happened and I literally just wanted the whole ground to open up and swallow me up but that was just my dad for you he just didn't care he he just enjoyed what he did he just enjoyed life he enjoyed having fun and that was what made him him and and I'm, I'm actually happy for it because he taught me how to have fun so many times he's like hey you're going out too much and I'm like yeah but I learned it from you because actually <laughs> I learned it from my dad but you know I, 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 I loved my dad and I actually did have um, a lot of fun with my dad while he was how while he was with us so yeah Hi all, my name is Tiva Kedejo and I'm the second child of the late Prince Adebo Kedejo. So to me, if I had to describe my dad, it would simply be the word dad, father. No, actually it would be the word daddy because I used to call him daddy. Um, and I'd actually kind of like consider myself a bit of a daddy's girl, but he was a dad to me. He was always there. I think all the attributes that a father should have and a father should be, he certainly possessed them. So, um, you know he was there to pick me up when i needed picking up he was there to offer me guidance and support he was there to cheer me on when i needed cheering also tell me off when i needed telling off he was just there in every sense of the word as to what a father should be sometimes i think he even went above and beyond and he did this especially when he moved back to nigeria he'd always make sure to be in constant communication with myself my siblings and my mother always just wanting to make sure that the family unit would stay intact and that's certainly something that I learned from my dad from when we were younger my dad would always hammer into me my siblings that our mum should be our best friend and he'd be like okay like fair enough you've got friends at school but like you know you have to tell your mum everything and he just he just loved the family unit and the notion of family growing stronger and I guess growing old together he loved that but you know so much so that one thing that I was certainly so embarrassed about but I guess it's just, it just goes to show his love that every year on our birthdays me and my siblings even my mum sometimes he would be like okay send me the latest pictures of yourself I want to celebrate you to the world I guess and he would put all our pictures on Facebook and I was just kind of oh, like I don't use Facebook but he he just loved it and to me it's embarrassing but I guess like now um, he's not here to do it and it's just it's just such a shame because he loves celebrating people and he was certainly a man of the people um, the other thing that I really I learned from my father and that I'm certainly going to miss was that he always taught me the importance of being myself. So if anybody ever heard my dad on the phone to me, he'd always be like, you know, you need to talk slower. I don't understand what you're saying. Um, I'm not an English man. Um, you know, you're Nigerian, so therefore, why do you talk so British? He just made jokes, essentially, um, trying to dig at me. But in the same breath, my father would always just, my father would always just be like, just be who you are be yourself and be positive um, he'd always remind me and my siblings of our um of our royal lineage to just say you know you're queen you're princess so therefore just go out and own the world he always empowered me and once again i'm going to miss those words of encouragement from my dad he was always just a positive soul and he liked uplifting people he um yeah which is something that i'm certainly going to miss um the whole part, his passing has been a major shock, but we thank God for his life and we thank God for the legacy that he left behind. Hi, I'm Samuel Adido in Keladejo. My father was Prince Adibo Keladejo. Um, he was more than my father, he was also my pastor and my mentor. Growing up, we've always argued, we've had our disputes. I think it started from when he was a Chelsea supporter and I was an Arsenal supporter. 
Louis always gonna clash. Um, but no, my dad instilled in me a strong sense of guidance in a way. He showed me what manhood was about and how to deal with the problems adulthood might face you. Like I'm always glad that he showed me certain things about life. Because everyone loved my father. I don't think there's anyone that said one bad word to him. He was always laughing with his friends. Like, he always had a lot of love to give. And I think that's one of my fondest memories about him. Just the way he could make a whole room laugh and just generally flow. I don't, he was just a bubbly character to be honest. And he, he's always been missed. He always used to sit down and watch films with us. We used to watch a lot of football together. He taught me how to be the kind of father I wanted to be when I'm older. And I'll always be grateful to him for that. Hello everyone. My name is Fumi Keladejo, the wife of late Prince Benedict Adeboro Adebola Keladejo. Myself and my husband, we met Nobody introduced us to each other. We met on the street. Um, we fell in love. We got married and God blesses us with three children. So God be the glory. Things were going well for us. And I thank God for God has been the rock of our marriage. Because if not for God, we will not be in the, that marriage will not stand. And during that period, um, we do our different things in the sense that we're in different professions. We have different personalities, but at the same time, we still try to find um, a, a medium way of bringing each other together and carrying each other with what we are doing. I'm more into the profession, my profession, and uh, my husband is more into his music um, promotion. And uh, by the time we come together, we exchange um, information, we share our experiences about our background. We blend everything together. I am more of an um, introvert person Why my husband was extrovert. And um, my main memory about my husband is um, how he's actually helped me to come out of my shell because I'm a very shy person. I don't really like going to parties. Even if I go to parties, I'll just sit quietly. But it sort of promote. He helped me even with my dressing, with the way I do things. He does most of my shopping for me. He makes sure that I dress well and I'm well presented when I'm going out. Um, he actually helped me to come out of my shell, and um, he built. He helped me to build my confidence as well. And likewise with his children, he was there. He's a good. He was a good father to the children. He helped them academically. And uh, he also promotes their spiritual being as well because he encouraged them to go to church. He encouraged them in their education. He encouraged them to be able to build their self-esteem so that they can stop, stand up straight wherever they, they, they see themselves. Um, my husband is an encourager. He loves helping people. He loves supporting people, especially the youths. Whatever he can do for anyone, he's ready to go extra mile to do it. And likewise, he also loves his family. He does not joke with his family. It's both the immediate and the extended family. He's always there. He can go extra mile for anyone. My husband is a very lovely person, very caring person. I do admire him most of the time, even though we do have our differences. But uh, to the glory of God, we always find a way, a medium to, to sort out our differences. That is why we are still here today. Even when he moved to Nigeria, we're always in communication. We talk, we make sure we call each other first thing in the morning and last thing in the night. That was even how I get to know what has happened to him. Uh, I thank God for everybody who has been supporting us, especially in this difficult period. I thank God for everyone that God has been using for us. And I pray that God will continue to strengthen each and every one of you. And God will raise helpers of destiny for each and every one of you. And to the glory of God, 
I, I thank God for the plan that everybody is putting together to make sure that my husband has a defeating barrier. I thank everybody and I'm very grateful for everything everybody has been doing to support us. Thank you everyone and God bless. Prince Atebola will be sorely missed by members of his family for the nuclear and extended. Friends, staff, youth, and the older community as well. Though a painful exit, we have assurance that we shall meet to part no more at Jesus' feet. <laughs> God be with you till we meet again By His counsels guide uphold you With His sheep securely Friends, family, anyone here present this evening who wants to share testimonies about the late Prince at Deboro Kiladejo. Please, because of our time, we have we know we have things to say. But please, because of our, our time, we just have to just make it very, very brief. Please, I have someone who checked on me the other time, all the way from Lagos, who will be coming first. Please permit me this evening as we welcome on the podium, all the way from Lagos, Mr. Christopher Musa for his testimony and tribute to our own late prince at Deboro Kila Dejo. Please, a round of applause as we welcome him. A round of applause. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I don't even know where to start. Myself and Deboro, I call him Oroma. That emanated from SGC. I don't know how many nobilitas are there. Sing yourself, guys. As it happened, last, by this time last year, we were playing a novelty match. He was the goalkeeper. We played with the St. Joseph students. When we got there, they haven't got no jersey. But a prominent member, a son, who was our classmate. Uh, sorry to say, I didn't do a bit of introduction about myself. I happen to be the welfare officer for that set. I'm the welfare officer. Up to now. We play a novelty match. He was the goalkeeper. In spite of his agility, he still managed to save a lot of the balls from young boys of 15, 16, 17 years old. They only beat us 2-1 in that match. This exact time, 17th of November 2019. And what happened was that, before I go on, yeah, Spy, Killer, Deborah, Oroma, Olowo, means a lot and means different things to different people. Like one of the tribute about him, and he circulate with young people. How he encourages people in their different profession, in their vocation, in academic, in whatever you want to do. Even though the last time I talked to him, before the demis, he said some guys were playing football. He said the wife, the children, uh, the wife was coming from UK. My friend said I came from uh, UK. Not actually um, from uh, Lagos. Not actually Lagos. 
we lived together in UK for 28 years. So I came from UK. I went to Lagos yesterday and I came back today just because of this as a welfare officer. Okay, let, 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 let's call the story short. Because like my friend said, that we haven't got much time. Killer meant different things to different people. We were educated together at St. Joseph's and we went to London together. I went 1982. I think he joined me in 1986, thereabout. He introduced as an extrovert, like the wife said in the testimony or the tribute. Do you know Killer was one of the first person that introduced K guys? Ilya Britico or whatever, whatever. Because myself, I miss what I should have done had it been I'm educated in Nigeria. I miss all of them. Because I left abroad at my teaching age, at a very young age. So there was all this thing I missed. Like what you call you, you call, like your jam bite, like this. I miss all of that. Because I left Nigeria like 21, 22 years old. And when we got there, he said, well, you know what we're going to do? We are going to introduce the Kegites here. And it was very, very, very popular. A friend of mine is sitting down there. We were also the pioneer of a Planet Club, which is still existing up to today in uh, London. There was this other club he introduced with people from uh, Perth, from uh, Lagos Island and all that. I'm sure some of them will be here. Killer was a socialite. Was he about how he brought Orlando over to London? Was he obesity? Was he was he Ibadan? Was he Suniade? Was he Colinton? Was it um, Ainde Barista? He brought all these people as an indigenous, as an undo man. So Killer was a genius. He brought all these people to London. And he was following them all over the world. But Killer is a bridge builder. When I say a bridge builder, it may be different interpretation to different people. Because even when you are having a qualm or a quarrel with him, he will still find a way or a so called to make sure he, he, he settles with you. Because he doesn't like argument, he doesn't like fighting people. So many things have happened between me, him, and another friend called Dupero. Dupero is such a hardcore guy, you know. Bekila always put him in place. And uh, that friendship, like I said, started from St. Joseph's. Uh, funny enough, three days before he died, I was on video call with him from London. I said, wait. I don't know what I'm doing here. It's too boring. We told this uh, problem we are facing. He said, I, will do. I said, I bought my ticket already to come and do Easter in Nigeria. He said, do you know I will? My wife has already bought her ticket too. But unfortunately, they cancel uh, as, uh, all this uh, lockdown. I said, I, will. I hope uh, I won't go mad though. Because I don't even know, I, because I really, really miss Nigeria, I miss Undo. Uh, you know, every time I come, you know, I always organize people to come to your place. I say it's a, it's a deliberate thing, so that people can support you. Ah, yeah, we go there, Mao. We go there for you, Shibe. Because about fair law joint, my deliberate, my destroyer. My game, I want my feedback, make it. Template, make it. It be, make it. That law, do you want? Oh, then, my for him, but you want for free. Look. I will even go out of my way to spend so much. But work when you are ready, you are going to be no joker. Yeah, we are going to be on a cheap business. Hey, I give from being a me. But I'm all right to join you. Yeah, we. Yeah, we will. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to come. You will just find a one bottle to go. Yeah, a one bottle to go. Business here only. We promote business here. You. I bet. You go find no limit. I'm a worker. One one one. It's just a car. I'm all right. Yeah, my limit to my affair away. But who owns this place? So how do we support ourselves? Yeah? So I don't know. The last thing I want to suggest, I don't know. Maybe I will approach KBC and some eminent people within Undo Kingdom. Can this place be turned to Adeboro Kiladejo Park? 
in memory of him at Deboro Kiladejo Park. And we will use all our academia, all our instinct. If we are like and low, you both and one of your passengers are your lab, but yet they are not alone in Nigeria. At low, as it develops back here, to become one of the best in Ondo Kingdom. We will do that. I will make sure because he's a socialite and he likes life, he likes people. He's a com he was a community man, and as such, I want to turn this, I want us to turn this place to a community center for all Londo people. God bless you all. Thank you very much, Mr. Christopher Musa, for that tribute and testimonies. Like he said, Prince was someone who touched everyone's life from he was an athlete, he plays. He played uh, the table tennis very well. I still find he had to use past tense for Prince anyway. And you know, it's, it's hard for me. He played the table tennis. He stand, he will sit there under the shed and he will trash almost everyone who, plays, who played with him. <sighs> Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we still have time for testimonies from schoolmates, from family and friends, anyone who wants to say something or the other about Prince. Please, I know you want to say things. Can we make it very, very brief and very, very fast in just two minutes? Please, who else is coming up to say something? Okay, please, sir. Please, Ejema, you can say something. It's rather unfortunate that at this period, I have to give tribute, but no problem. Well, Boro, as I normally call him, he was a man with very large heart to bear loss. There was an occasion he brought obesity from Lagos. I was one of the co-sponsors. My own portion of the loss, the sponsorship was just 45,000 naira. The production of the flyers. But could you believe that the team flop up did not achieve, did not achieve the desired goal? But thereafter, Prince Boro beat it, my own little portion. He asked, how will I accommodate the loss? I told him and reminded him that you brought somebody from Lagos. Imagine the size of the money you invested and no results. Still, you were beating the little portion for the flyer. I told him to forget about it. Boro, he wouldn't like me to come here without drinking or taking something. Most of the time, you give me the list of the availables. You will say, or uh, you will say, trophy, this and that. I was forced to go on uh, origin. <laughs> Could you believe that he will serve him himself? Because he, 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 he gave me the honor, always, that royal secretary, pen is better than sword. He, 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 he normally give me that honor. He will serve me, serve me himself. Then, Boron had futuristic banalism. Better put that way. He will be around, I would have asked him. Probably he had known that there will be a global epidemic that will shame people's pattern of greeting. Boron will not allow a body Body closeness for glitter will not allow no man hand shaking. At the entrance of that place, here you cannot abide with the system of shaking here, which is this. He will send you out. Probably he had known that that would be the, the, the global method. So it's better put that uh, it's been adopted, it's been adopted from Boro. He has created that globally. It's an offense today. You, you, you greet people with handshaking. All you need to do is, and it's originated from a kifaj. That is the reason why I support the motion that we will, we will establish this place. I will make sure that perpetually this place will live. Borough wouldn't like somebody to look angry. We will approach you that, what is the problem? Keshele. The moment he knows that you need little support, particularly money, he will, he will give you. But the time is not on my side. So, uh, 
omo ba kile adejo boro sun re o de be joba na de de do mo baba de yi o you take your placement ta awon yi wo yin no eyin o sun ya se wa in jesus mighty name thank you very much sir and thank you very much for complying with the time with us thank you very much god bless you sir because of our time we still take uh, maybe two persons before we move on as we pay tribute to our late prince at the borough kiladejo please sir, introduce yourself and your tribute and testimonies thank you good evening everybody um i'll introduce myself my name is ademola kiladejo the borough is my first cousin and i've known the borough for many 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 years especially the time when he was in the uk he was a brother i'm the eldest of the family he was a brother i never elder brother i never had and i'm listening to all the tributes and all these tributes are legacies they're consistent of a man that was so dear of of a man i would say big bro that was so dear to all of us he meant so much i will give you an example to get here from the uk to nigeria my brother just arrived from london today we had many many challenges with the covid flights were cancelled but where there's a will there's a way it would not have defeat myself and my brother not attending here today and that's how important to make it very clear how important the borough was to me and my brother from the heart he was a man of <laughs> when i think of the many memories that he and myself shared it brings <laughs> i smile and that smile and laughter will be with me to the rest of my days a man that could be never ever ever be, be forgotten see this park here people talked about in memory of his name that's what we will do this park will be in memory of his name we did have plans me and uh, the borough did have plans to do fantastic things to this place here and that legacy of his name will continue by the grace of god and the support of everybody here and i really want to say i want to thank everybody for attending and giving the the family the support in this very difficult time of grief and we share in your grief but i want to say a big thank you to everybody for being here uh today and those that are probably um whatsapp or video link youtube uh that have connected in today to watch this um i want to say a big thank you and may god bless everybody okay thank you very much sir please because of our time we can just take just one more person then we go to the next in the program for the testimonies from anyone just one more person because of our time please i can come forward while he comes forward please we have this uh vest from every one of us please sir, you can come forward please you can please we have this vest for sale and tomorrow as we go uh take his body from the morgue would like to wear these to honor our late prince at the borough killer the job so please the ushers will walk around with the the t-shirt here in case you're interested to get one to join us tomorrow as we go to the mortuary together to pay his last respect while we bring him home for the interment please you can just uh, get one of this shirt from the ushers while they go around thank you very much so you're welcome thank you very much 
all protocols of that, ladies and gentlemen, this is a sober reflection. But Jordan, you know, I am not going to speak English. It does not mean I don't understand the language. Sober reflection. I a de borrow kill a de job. Prince Omoba Niondo on a yabi yetan Niondo. Oh, do wa, oh, do everybody. Oh, that is Shebe. The law at this critical period at his youthful age he must have impacted into all spheres of Ondo Kingdom. Monoti Hati from popular musicians not your do not in nigeria they be one loss of the nibo and then they call one that lay feel the impact one and then you want by to go yeah i'm low oh yeah i'm low Oje onu ko je pe fi egbe aga se teri batun egi egi brother me brother me elo elaja mi jo mo e sugbon o appreciate the values culture and tradition ni ondo culture and tradition they appreciate the culture and tradition. Me be, do ba fe wo be. Onu si anti ye ki e atokwe atobiye. Money ba ba wa fi o kolo koni e wo ma wa e ma wa je o chuchu. Akoko bo chuchu ko e do e wali. Koma kuba ba, koma kuba ye. We bene to pada do fe jade o tun ni won to mko e o mo da bo bai o do la oye esu won oye do baje si ma be de de on do no matter what it takes the man the values he and this culture and tradition be fe da do waste o to evi e ti so ni o tu se inu ndo yi o civic center is a center of excellence here when the energy party but this one is a resource center da joko da se fa aji e ki fa aji amawa all over the world se ja so tei ti e te A keg be o wa de n je o ni be mo won je keg be god o won ni bodo mo pepper soup wala ta swa 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 ibe ti je yi brother me yo wa se kini ko wa yi ba lo so yi e yo o de wa gba ku owo wa be a job, no matter what it takes, let there be a foundation 
that will make continuity. Brother, me, if you give me you all let us end Your legacy will remain forever till kingdom come. What shall we do? What shall be said by Lagba? You know what you see? What are you going to be next? Eh? The body is here. The more and more basini. And the Bible no go. I'm sure you are right there. You will become, if not a king of kings, will become a king of the youth. To God be the glory. Our youth, so we are not going to be near our Lord. Oh, our Lord, don't know our Lord. At last, heaven ends. Say, I got my dear Lord. May your kind, soft, gentle soul, and ever rest in perfect peace. Amen. Amen. All right, thank you very much, sir. That was emotional for us as we remember the memories we've shared here. Like we said, that Prince is someone who will always support you. I think he is a bridge. He was that bridge between the old and the young ones. He was always there for us. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we've had enough. We can go with the testimonies and we won't be bored tonight. This is what we're here to do, to pay tribute. But we'd like to hear a word of hesitation as we move on this evening. Please join me as we welcome Bishop David Odutayo for some word of hesitation as we continue this evening. Please, can we have the man of God? As we move on, our Bishop David Odutayo for exhortation for some few minutes as we continue. Please don't forget it's on Friday, not tomorrow. Please, I made that mistake by saying tomorrow we go to the mock to get the remains of Prince Adeboro Kiladejo. It's on Friday, and we shall be using this vest as a uniform to get his body for interment please it's just for 2500 we have the ushers going around with it if you're interested to join us on friday please we beg you to please use this as a medium to be a part of us as we give him a befitting barrier which he deserves ladies and gentlemen please can we have the man of god is he still around pastor bishop sorry please pardon me bishop david odutayo Please can someone help me check if he's still around bishop david odutayo for the prayer and hesitation okay he's not around Uh, before we close for the evening, light go to the the hymn and the candle light. Please, the persons in charge of the candles to help us uh, distribute can the candles so we can light them. Then we can organize the prayer for the family. Please, can we light our candles? As we sing the hymn, it is well with my soul. While the candlelight is on, please, in case you have one, you can help me pass to your neighbor so that the candle will 
So we can have everyone have the candle. Please, the, uh, the light crew should help us um, put us in the mood for the the candle light procession. The light crew should help us with the light. Thank you. Thank you very much. Please come and rise to sing this song. It is well with my soul. With our candle lit in memory of late friends at Deboro Kiladejo. Thank you.
It is well, it is well, with my soul, with my soul, it is well, it is well, with my soul. For the last time together, everyone. It is well, it is well, with my soul, with my soul, it is well, it is well, with my soul. At Deborah Kiladejo, we say it's well. Please, we may have our seats. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to move on with the evening. Before we go to the prayer for the family and friends and everyone present here this evening, we'd like to invite to speak to us this evening the chairman, organizing committee of friends for these night of tribute. As he, as he comes forward to discuss with us the plans they have for us based on other things concerning Prince, late Prince Adeboro Kiladejo. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, please join me as we welcome Chief Ibekele Akintola. Please round of applause for him as we invite him. Thank you very much. Hello. Wonderful friends and family. Well, I don't have much to say here because we have some great people. They've talked about our Prince of Hope. Prince of Hope, Prince Hilary Duadiboro was a wonderful friend. Though my relationship was with him was so short, but it was a wonderful relationship. This is the kind of man that I have never met before. But he's so kind, so lovely, very humble in all respect. Despite the fact that he's well, it was from a royal family. Well, to cut it short, my name is Chief Akintola Ibekele, the committee chairman, committee of friends chairman. We have planned to have a foundation for this great man. And I'm happy that Mr. Christopher Musa has already presented it before us. My appeal now is, after the barrier, or before the barrier, I will appeal to all like minds to meet and discuss how to forge, uh, to forge ahead to see that this plan comes to a reality. Because I believe it is possible. Because this is a wonderful friend. He's agnostic. So I learned when he was alive. At least if we have a foundation for him to assist those who are having such ailments. I think it will be good for this town. This is a promoter of culture. The man, so good. When you come around here, Greetings wise, in fact, you will know that this man, he really loves Undo, he loves Undo Kingdom. He loves everybody, be it young, be it old. He's a lover of all. And that is why we all gather here together to give him this honor. Hey, Joe, 
iku adebo prince adeboro ki nse ku ofo a man of 61 years old useku mo fe ki ari bipe asiko ti e loto asiko toto lati lo to ma ye lo lo and that's why we gathered here together to this night ko ku sinu omi omi ma to pa ko ro lapa ko ro lese so a ni lati ro nurara a man of 61 i at least biblically even the uh, jesus how old was he when he was alive so ejo mo fe ka rally run no matter what it is carry pay this man at least we give him the honor that he deserves. Like he said, if our KBAC could allow this place at least for his uh, remembrance to have a foundation, have a building here, name it after him, I think it will be wonderful. And God will be with us for everybody that will contribute. No money is too small. Let's have it at the back of our mind to at least to support this uh, foundation. God bless you all. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. And that was from the chairman, the organizing committee of friends for the night of tributes. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, as we move on with the evening, we'd like to go straight to the next on the program, which is the prayer for the immediate family. As we pray for the Kiladejo family, friends, and relations, please, in memory of our prince, can we all rise on our feet as we say a word of prayer here this evening in the absence of the bishop? Please can we just rise up together as one big family to just say the prayers together. Thank you. In the memory of our prince, can we all pray for the family? As we stand, the prayer can start now as we pray for the family. He left behind, God should console them and give them the strength to bear this loss. And tonight we can pray for the family to the family of our prince Kiladejo, the Kiladejo family, the royal family, that God should help them bear the loss too. And also to Ndo Kingdom for losing a son who has been supportive to everyone. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we can extend the prayers to friends and relations as we pray tonight that the strength from above to bear this loss God should give everyone as we mourn and celebrate the glorious life of Prince Adeboro Kiladejo we can round off our prayers with words of thanks to the almighty God for listening and granting this prayer and for in Jesus mighty name we have prayed and distinguished ladies and gentlemen as we sit down we'd like to go to the vote of thanks as we call on a family member to please come forward for the vote of thanks on behalf of the Prince Adeboro or the entire Kiladejo family for the vote of thanks a representative from the family thank you For the vote of thanks. Please, anyone from the royal family, on behalf of the family, for the vote of thanks. Thank you. Doctor, you're welcome. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I want to sincerely appreciate everybody for coming to partake in the night of tribute of our dear brother, Prince of Hope.
in Zadibor or Kiladejo. A lot have been said about him. We've listened to encomiums, appreciation, commendation from all and sundry, from those who directly or indirectly have benefited from his largesse. And um, Uncle Deboro lived a fulfilled life. There are so many parameters by which you can use to know whether someone has lived a fulfilled life or not. Someone was here and I listened with rapt attention. The person was trying to talk about those who have even died, even at tender age. Younger than that of Uncle Deboro. And yet they live the fulfilled life. So it is not how long that matter, but how well. I also, if dropped from someone who was even saying that if Deborah had even lived up to 90 years, he might not be celebrated like this. So in view of this, ladies and gentlemen, the entire Kiladejo family is not mourning. We are not mourning Deborah. We are celebrating his life and time. Because with the testimonies we've been listening to this, since the day he, uh, he, he, he left us to the great beyond, we definitely know that he has been able to impact many lives. And that is the most important thing. If you are in this world, if you have not been able to impact lives, if you have not been able to contribute positively to the life of people around you, you have not lived any life. But Uncle Deborah has done that graciously. On this note, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank all of you for coming this evening. On behalf of the entire Kiladejo family, I want to thank friends of Uncle Deborah Kiladejo. I want to thank his colleagues, his associates, people whom he I was living with in the United Kingdom before. His neighbors here, his business partners, people in his uh, place of worship, and the youths in particular. I want to thank you very much, and I want to pray that God is in his infinite mercy. I am not going to mention names, but I think we have to give honor to whom honor is. We have representatives of various groups here. We have our dear federal representative here, Honorable Biola Makinde. We have friends of Kiladejos. We have the youths in their numerous numbers. And we have all the extended families. We have those in his streets, landlords associations. And we have those in his, from his churches. Once again, I want to thank you. I want to appreciate you. And the program continues. By the special grace of God, tomorrow morning, we are going to bring, I mean, to, go, to, to bring his uh, uh, body in a motorcade to his residence at um, uh, Lewuro. I'm sure we all know the residence. That's, we can assess it through um, at the super. In the evening of that same day, that's tomorrow, there will be a Christian wake up at his residence. Yes, yeah, sorry. Sorry, tomorrow is going to be strictly for the wake up at his residence. His body will be moved on Friday morning straight to for interment, I mean, sorry, to church, for church services. Once again, I want to thank you. I want to appreciate you. Adele Barre, Arina Kore. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. And that was uh, Dr. Nelson Oshman on behalf of the family, saying thank you to every one of us. It's been a, an evening of memory that will linger forever in our memories. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to say thank you very much to everyone who has been a part of this.
please would like to remind us once again that on friday morning that is when his remains will be removed from the the mortuary mm mortuary we can be a part of that please don't forget you can join us and be a part of it by wearing the uh the the uh, these uniform requested vest to be a part of this event on friday time time is 8 a.m friday 8 a.m at mm mortuary here in ondo that is at um catholic junction area of ondo we shall end this evening with the closing prayer and benediction after that we shall enjoy some scintillating music in memory of our only prince at the borough killer from the lakers band and the top where ola jengbis and his ovation, top ovation band distinguished ladies and gentlemen it's been a honor to stand in front of us watching all over the world here tonight the memory of prince adeboro adeboro kiladejo is one we shall never forget in a short while his memories will linger in our memories too till we depart from this world it's been a lovely evening and i'm your host olamide akimola and people call me archbishop thank you very much for allowing me to be the host for this evening Right now, we'd like to stand up to have the closing prayer. Please, can we all rise to our feet as one big family as we share the benediction? Please, I'm sorry for that. I have to just attend to one or two things. Before we enjoy, yes, it's enjoy. Because we are not here to mourn. We are here to celebrate Prince Adeboro Kiladejo. As one big family, please, can we share the grace together? May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Thank you very much. Please enjoy the best of music coming from the Lakers Band. And the Tokwe Olajangwesi, Tokwe Olajangwesi, and his top ovation band in memory of late Prince Adeboro Kiladejo. Good night. Omo ba de boro ti lo sonu ashante ashante Nitori omo ba to rele oya se ba igba mi do wo re o Asiko mi do wo re He got me to worry. Oh, oh, but everybody should be. Oh, don't worry. He got me to worry.
Kiki la de je kwa ra fera ku eni retorele Omo de lu e kwa shende A shende Shende Agba gba lu e kwa shende E bi ara re o E ma kwa shende Eh Ogbo wa la mo wi pe Awa ye ma lo kan ko ma si ra 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 Ewo Kaku ni ke kere Kala di ye ira na Oso ju kakwe 200 kadi ra da ra da Kaku lo mo de Kodi ye ni Blessed Oso ju kakwe 1000 kadi ra da ra da Iyi wala kbata ye ra ye Akbata ye ra ye Iyi wala la abo toka juno Iyi wani le isho akbara timo Iyi ajo mi lo wara lo wao Etu mare fu wani kbare re lo la ye ta wao O uro o sa ale Oso wa si re re o Ka lo wore le yi Bi yo mo ki la de jo Ka ye ye wa Koru kodu fun koko wa Oto wore o Ki da mi do wore o Asiko mi do wore Ki da mi do wore o Otu bale yembe ni bi oku ikale repete Eba mi toju princess shiju ade Omo kila dejo o ma gun lenu mi dada Ero toju doctor Nelson mi o omo osun gbe mi ro Oko princess mi o ade bola Ero pa mi toju e o Young Johnny Tex Alashe Young Johnny Tex for the jobs Yo kari ya ye Nitori Young Johnny Tex Matu ilu kwa da gongo Young Johnny Tex So so we pay I will exalt you Baba Et is you are you Father was lifted me Above my enemy your banner over me is Lord I will exalt you Lord I will exalt you Lord For thou hast lifted me Above, 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 above Above my enemy Your banner over me is Lord I will exalt you Baba for thou has lifted me above my enemy. The banner over me is Lord. Hallelujah. I will exalt you, Lord. For thou has lifted me above my enemies. The banner over me.
Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I'm very, very sorry to interrupt the lovely music going on, but the evening won't be complete without recognizing the presence of a man whose idea started this lovely pack from his days as the, the local government chairman of Ondo West. And since then, God has been faithful to him and has moved him to a higher ground. And this evening is in our midst to honor the presence and the memory of late Prince Adeboro Kiladejo, the Prince of Hope. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, please join me this evening as we welcome the Honorable Member of House of Representatives representing the good people of Ondo West and Ondo East constituency in Abuja. Please join me this evening as we welcome Honorable Abiola Peter Makinde is riding our midst to pay his tribute to Prince Adeboro Kiladejo. Sir, you're welcome. Recognize the president, sir. I'm very, very. I think it's important we bring him up here for some few minutes to say one or two things about the memory he has shared with late Prince Adeboro Kiladejo. Please, a round of applause as we welcome. Honorable Abiola Makide. Ham, you're welcome, sir. Well, I give glory to God Almighty for the life of our uncle, because I call him uncle, um, in the sense that he had a close relationship with my uncle in London and um, Uncle Paul Makinde. Because when my daddy died, that was the person that actually paid my school fees throughout my years in the college. And so when Uncle Deborah came and uh, we had a good relationship, and his purpose then was to ensure that Ondo don't move to the next level. Then we spoke about this place. And I thank God for Uncle Chris Musa and many people that have spoken that this place should be called Adebora Kiladejo Park. And I so support that motion that was moved. Um, because then this place was bushy. And uh, Uncle Debora came and said, Yola, where are you from? Where are you turned into a park and today then I was a council chairman young boy just trying to do my best that was 2013 Uncle Deborah was with me we walked around this place then it was a den of uh, robbers and they rob they come around drop whatever it is but today we are celebrating him because he took over this park and I have never been disappointed and I pray that by the special grace of God, 
as I am the member of the House of Rep, I will continue to support that Adeboro Kiladejo Park. I spoke with um, Dr. Nelson Oshubero while the discussion was going on. We were having a discussion together as well. That we should write a letter. All of us who is who in Nondo, let's write a letter, let everybody sign, and let's send it to the local government. Don't forget that this park is under the local government. I think they get their own whatever IGR for me. But then Ondo, need, Ondo City needs to take it over. And the foundation should be able to at least support. My intention then, before I left the council, was to build a swimming pool where our kids can come around and just use a swimming pool instead of going to a hotel. Then also to build a zoo, a mini zoo. And that was our plan. That, okay, maybe as members of Red, I can put that in the budget. Little did I know. Fear Giboro. Fear Lo. Sureo. Praise the Lord. Thank you very much. God bless you. All right, thank you very much. That was from our own Honorable Distinguished Honorable Abiola Makina. Please, a round of applause for him once again for that lovely speech on the memory of late Prince at the Borough Kiladejo. Thank you very much. And we hope, sir, that we can do something here that will preserve the memory of late prince at the borough killer DJ. and right now without disrupting the music over to the live band as we have a collaboration of the lakers band alongside the top ovation band yes we have a zoo here in case you don't know what a zoo you see elephants have you seen elephant before <laughs> Ibata ba tu la konsi koko tamamulo Oma son koko tamu wa saye iya Kusong koko alimulo Prince of the Borough, Kila Dejo May your gentle soul rest in perfect peace Iko tishika, Iko tigoro, Iko medire wala Mata lanche le de le ire E bi ala ore Aku ara fer aku Oko fumi la yo O fi wasi le Mo ba ti doru Ko goru shoru re Iko ti shika Iko ti doro Iko me dire Wala niwa Ate goro Oko gila de jo Mo ba ti doru Ko goru shoru re Ubo wa pata la anche le de le ire sa Ebi ara ure Ama ku ara vera ku enire Oko fumi la yo Ofi wa si le la iru tele Bo ba ti doru ko goru shoru re Iko ti sheka Iko ti doro Iko me nire wala niwa Ade koro Oko gila de jo Bo ba ti doru ko goru shoru Ade poro ti janja ye o ti shekun Omo ma si mi la ya jesu baba O ti bo la wo a ni yo a ye O ti bo la wo i la i lo Ade poro ti janja ye o ti shekun Omo ma si mi la ya jesu baba A o pa de le ti o do Let's see. 
Fati wala de Baba de do yi Fati jimi ki la de jon she le de le yre Orunde Sade <laughs> Never, never be afraid. Almighty oh, God will be with you. Be rest assured. I have to see. Need to know. So we be killer than your long to end. I'm who I rather fear. Anyway, anyone. I never to share better. I have to see. Need to know. Oh, she let it let you end. Mami, see a day. I'm who I rather fear. Oh no, what can I say? Who can I tell you? Who can I tell you? Oh, Lani, in London, who will be the shady? 
Sani on my lock by Lekao. Give a head in a home, but the book, he laid the job. Kay, he had a yala. I had in a home, but the book, he laid the job. Yem de yala. I'm a money from a bar, or my Lisa, or my Toby Lekka, or my Bashaw. I had in a home, or my love, what you are you, or my love, why, what you put me. Oh, day.